morning. I'm Lester Holt in tonight for Brian. The sky is not falling, but you'd be forgiven if the thought crossed your mind after two spectacular, but apparently unrelated, cosmic close encounters today within just hours of each other. This morning, in a remote part of Russia, some thought the world was ending when a 10 ton meteor, five stories tall, hurtled to Earth and exploded, causing a lot of injuries and doing a lot of damage without actually hitting anything. Its fiery descent was captured in vivid detail by numerous cameras. And then this afternoon, there was a very close call with a massive asteroid that whizzed by just 17,000 miles from our planet. In celestial terms, that is a very near miss. What do scientists make of all this? It was all one big cosmic coincidence. NBC's Tom Costello reports. The video from Russia is incredible. A massive meteor traveling at 33,000 miles per hour, trailing a brilliant white contrail, hitting the atmosphere and exploding with the force of an atomic bomb. You butt! The shockwave over the town of Chelyabinsk damaged thousands of buildings, knocked down a factory wall, and blew out windows across the city in freezing temperatures. Just as kids were starting the school day. The ceiling was okay, but all the windows were broken. Almost all the window panes were damaged. There are no windows without damage. The shards of glass injuring more than a thousand people, 100 hospitalized. I heard this extremely loud noise that shook my apartment. Canadian hockey player Michael Garnett lives in Chelyabinsk. We talked to him via Skype. It blew the vents out of my bathroom and there was debris on the floor. And I'm up on the 23rd floor, and, and I could feel the building swaying. Pieces of the meteor punched a hole in a frozen lake, but missed the town and a nearby nuclear plant. In Washington, scientist Linda Welsenbach specializes in meteorites at the Smithsonian. These are the primitive materials left over from when the planets formed, and say are the basic building blocks of all our planetary material. It's heavy. It is indeed heavy. And in an amazing coincidence, the other space rock, an asteroid half the size of a football field, came whizzing by this afternoon. While the space station orbits 220 miles above the Earth, this afternoon's asteroid passed 17,000 miles above the Earth, much closer than many satellites that orbit 22,000 miles out. An object as large as this passes by the Earth, we think, on average, about once every 40 years. Two close calls today with the world wondering what would have happened if either one had hit a city. Tom Costello, NBC News, Washington. И сейчас снова к главной теме выпуска – падению метеорита на Урале и его последствиям. Это кадры с того места, куда, возможно, упал космический объект. Местность малонаселенная. Вы видите воронку, которая там образовалась. По последним данным МВД, за медицинской помощью обратились более 400 человек. Информация постоянно меняется. Многие ранены осколками стекла, вылетевшими под воздействием взрывной волны. При этом состояние троих из пяти госпитализированных оценивается как тяжелое. Сильных разрушений на Земле не зафиксировано. Однако в шести городах отмечены повреждения строений. Так частично обрушились стена и крыша цинкового завода в Челябинской области. Пострадал также Ледовый дворец. Где-то падали подвесные потолки. В регионе, а также в четырех других субъектах Федерации, в Свердловской, Курганской, Самарской и Саратовской областях, созданы оперативные штабы Министерства внутренних дел. Там продолжают мониторинг ситуации. На местах идет осмотр территории. 
Во многих районах по-прежнему не работает сотовая связь. Сеть перегружена. Добавлю, падение новых метеоритов специалисты не прогнозируют.